So you saw the crash. <clears throat> this is going to be the uh, damage report video. Well, here it is, folks, scene of the crime. You can see this is where the chaos ensued. Having good times here. Still good. Still good. You follow these two tracks right out here. We're still good. Still good. Keep in mind we're we're sideways at this point. Still good. Still good. And then right about here is where things went wrong. So the tire stopped. And then this. That's not from a trencher. That's from the roll cage. Somewhere in here is where I knew something went wrong. Cage hit, now we're upside down. Cage hit this side. And that's where we landed. Surprisingly enough, I don't see anything structural. I look down the side of the cage, everything seems to be in line, both sides match. Thought I might have tweaked it a little bit in the back. But looking at it close, more closely, I think she's good. Shout out to Canadian engineers. The only spot I do know for sure we got tweaked Oh, light bar tabs. That guy took a hit and shoved the light bar over. Knocked it loose. No biggie. Can fix that. <clears throat> so here's where it took the hit. Not so much here. Or here. But right here. Really surprised there's no bent radius rods. I'm impressed. Especially because those are stock radius rods. <clears throat> Typically when you get that amount of side load on one, it just folds up. I think we're good. We'll get this cleaned up and get a closer inspection on it, but I don't see anything wrong with it. Maybe a few scratches. Get our hose down, wipe it down, see how bad the cosmetic stuff is. This thing did hit here, flipped over, landed on the other side. Again, I don't see any broken plastic. Too much mud covering it to see if there's any scratches, but we'll get it cleaned up. I am curious though. <clears throat> My trunk. Let's see how bad this yard sale is. Oh, please. Let's do it again. You may have noticed that my shock reservoirs in the back are not mounted in the factory location. They're usually on this bar right here, but I decided to move them. I think it looks cool. It's a little bit different, um, but really the reason behind it was if these cars go over on their roof, on their side, whichever, there's a possibility that the uh, reservoirs are going to take a hit in this location and it'll break them right off at the mounting point. So that's one of the reasons, my main reason for moving them, because I knew at some point that this, there was a chance that this car would go on its side or on its roof or who knows. The wife thought I was crazy. She said, no, I don't like it. It looks dumb. Why do you want to do that? You can't see out of the mirror. I'm going to hit my head on it. All kinds of excuses. I'm glad I did it. I hate being right. So there we go. It's all rinsed off. Still needs a final wipe, but uh, at least now I can see what's going on here. I'm going to call this best case scenario for a rollover. The only thing I see here is we stress cracked a little bit of paint off the cage right here, a little bit there. Uh, but all in all, no cosmetic damage to the plastic, the doors, anything. Um, the roof did get shoved over to the driver's side. That has to do with the light bar tabs that I had on here. Light bar took a hit. Um, I did end up having to take that off. It, uh, it actually pulled the threads on the ends of the light bar, so I think I can fix it, but that's what we got there. Yep. So I'll redo 
those light bar tabs, straighten the roof out, put it back on, fix the light bar, should be good. And you can see how we got a gap on this side. The whole plastic roof is slid over. No big deal. No damage to this side either on the doors or any of the plastic. Best case scenario. Here we got a little bit better look at the uh, light bar damage. You can see it's pulled the threads out of the end of that. A little lighting a little better. Yeah. So I'll get that off and see what I can do with it. I may uh, drill and tap it larger, put a steel insert in it, or maybe take it off and put a bolt in from the inside out. We'll see. So there you have it. Uh, light bar's fixed. I put some helicoils in each end of it. It's good as new. I uh, just got to get a connector to reconnect it to the harness there in the A pillar. Uh, it's a couple days have gone by. I've already taken it out on another ride. Handles fine. Uh, I really think we dodged a bullet on this one. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and uh, remember keep the dirty side down. <laughs>